Hi there, welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how we can provide internet access to Azure resources. By default, for all the VNets, that's the virtual networks that you create, will have the internet. Uh, that means you, you're open to have the internet connectivity for your Azure VMs or Azure resources. And uh, if at all you don't want, you can actually create some kind of security policies from the network security group or maybe traffic route can be done or maybe a firewall level filtering can be done. So when we create the VNet, within that VNet, the resources will have the private IP that becomes as the SNAT with the help of the public IP. So they go with some public IP and they get the access. So that's how it's going to work. And uh, if you want to restrict, as we talked earlier, uh, for the outbound connectivity to be restricted, you can do it with the user routes or traffic filtering or with the firewalls or NSGs. That all can be done. And also for the inbound connectivity, you can use without SNAT uh, can be configured with a directly public IP. That means um, instead of uh, go with a private IP and then that converts to a public uh, IP with the conversion of SNAT, that's a source NAT. Uh, instead of that, you can also assign the public IP so that that can, communication can be established uh, automatically. And this would be the typical design that we can talk about it. For example, let's say a user coming from outside. So what we can do is we can place a network load balancer which will uh, have a look on and it will actually validate the uh, traffic because this will have the public IP for outside and from there it can be assigned with the network virtual appliances uh, the traffic can go so that's very similar to your uh, firewalls which you normally have your on premises so that's where the traffic again will be one layer of filtering can be happen on top of it you can also have your NSGs and then you can also uh, send this traffic to the application uh, gateways or another layer of network load balancer and from there it will uh, route to the your VM so these are the a typical design that you can uh, design so that you would uh, actually give the internet access I hope this short lecture will be useful for you too in terms of understanding how internet access can be provided for your uh, as your resources thank you for watching this